we have come a long way for the Pix Ray series. But in this video, we are going to learn how we can create this amazing kinetic type animation in Adobe After Effects. Well, a huge shout out to Pixrate for his amazing works. And now, let's begin. Alright, so I'm gonna start with a new composition. I'm gonna set it on 1080 by 1080. I'm gonna call it Design. And the frame rate is set on 24 frames per second and the duration is on 6 seconds. So let's hit OK. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go towards my type tool and I'm going to write the word motion. Now let's go towards the selection tool and now I will switch to the line tab and I'm going to align it to the middle. Alright, that is good. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to right click on the motion text and I'm going to select the create shapes from the text. So on the next step, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a stretch text for my animation. Well, to do that, what I'm going to do first is that I'm going to press Ctrl plus R to bring the ruler and I'm going to set some guides for myself. Alright, and then I'm going to switch to crazy shapes and then I'm going to set path keys and I'm going to move the time indicator to one second and then I'm going to select the path and then when my cursor changes it to this white with a rectangle, I'm going to select the bottom points and I'm, and I'm going to snap it to the guidelines, same as the upper parts. So we'll have an animation like this and then I'm gonna copy the first sets of keyframes in here and then what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna select these keyframes and I'm gonna click on loop path. So this is basically a path expression that uh, creates a loop for our path animation. Something like this. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select all of the keyframes and then in keyframe velocity, I'm going to set the influence on 80% for on 85% for incoming and outgoing velocity. Now, if you have enjoyed the video so far, please don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content. Thank you so much. Now, let's continue. Great. Now what I'm going to do on the next step, I'm going to create a new composition and I'm going to call it effects. I'm just going to write the FX, which stands for the effect. And then I'm going to press OK. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to bring the design and then I'm going to create a new solid and I'm going to call it the displacement map. Now what I'm going to do is that, as you know, we are going to use the time displacement effect. So the first effect I'm going to add in here is the greater ramp effect. I'm going to set the darker part in here and the brighter one in there. And now what I'm going to do on the next step, I'm going to add the tritone effect. I'm going to change the highlights to a black color however I'm going to change the mid-tones to a white color and let's make sure that the start point is set on here and now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a fast box blur effect and I'm going to change the blur to 100 now we'll have an effect like this but it is not finished yet so I'm going to add another effect called fractal noise and this time I'm going to change the fractal type to swirly and then I'm going to change the noise type to spline. Now let's extend the 
a fixed control panel a bit so we can see better and now what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna hit the transform panel and I'm gonna turn the and then I'm gonna check off the box that says uniform scaling and I'm gonna scale the width for a number such as 60 however I'm gonna increase this uh, height to a number such as 10,000 so we'll have an animation like this and then now it is time to generate this effect by changing the evolution property so uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to set a keyframe on evolution and then on two seconds I'm going to rotate the slider for a one entire rotation and then I'm going to press U I'm going to hold ALT and then I'm going to add a loop out expression good and then what I'm going to do lastly is that I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay great now what I'm going to do on the last step for this displacement map I'm going to add the turbulent displace effect I'm going to change the displacement type to twist this time and then I'm going to set the amount to 150 and this size to 130 and then I'm going to press U and then I'm going to copy these sets of keyframes and I'm going to paste them for the evolution of the turbulent displace effect and I'm going to copy the expressions from the uh, fractal noise and I'm going to paste it for the turbulent displace. So now we have our displacement map. Now it is time to turn off this layer and then I'm going to add the time displacement effect now let's set the time displacement to the displacement map and now let's change the time displacement layer to effects and masks and let's hit preview so we have that effect but still we need to tweak a few parameters so i'm going to change the time resolution to 200 and then i'm going to decrease the maximum displacement time to 0.3 so now let's watch. All right, that seems good. So now on the final step, I'm gonna go towards the project panel and then I'm gonna create a new composition and let's call it final. And let's hit okay. I'm gonna bring the FX comp in here. And first let's create a background. I'm gonna call this one a background now let's add a few effects to colorize our text in here so the first effect i'm going to add is that i'm going to add the echo effect and now right now the echo effect doesn't have really impact and if i change the echo numbers to a number such as 50 i will have something like this but still i need to tweak a few settings in here so let's change the echo time to minus 0 0.030 to a small number and let's and also let's decrease the intensity to 0 0.03 and let's change the decay to 0 0.94 and now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to add a gaussian blur and let's also give it a 10 percent blurriness and now let's add the coloroma effect which is a great effect so i'm gonna go towards the input phase and i'm gonna change the get phase from the intensity to alpha however i'm gonna go towards the output and then i'm gonna change the color presets to for example a red color and then I'm going to grab this slider and then I'm going to grab this slider towards here and I'm going to change its color to a lighter color like this So we will have something like this 
which is quite good. Now I'm going to duplicate this effect one more time. However, this time I'm going to decrease the echo time to minus 0 0.05. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to set the intensity to 1. So we will have a shape like this. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go towards the Coloroma. However, let's get back to the um, the first effect and on modify, let's turn off the box that says modify alpha. Same as the this one. And then I'm going to go towards the output cycle. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to double click on this channel to create a color and then I'm gonna add a white color on here and a darker color on here so now we have something like this and let's And lastly, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to duplicate this shape one more time. And then I'm going to delete all of the effects for the third one. Um, but now still we have some issues in here. And that is because I need to change the echo time to a small number such as minus 0 0.005. So now let's watch. All right, great. Now, what I'm going to do on the next step is that I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and I'm going to call it light. And I'm going to select this adjustment layer and then I'm going to double click to create a lips. And then I'm going to add a fill effect and I'm going to change the fill color to white. And then with the light layer selected i'm gonna press f to go towards the mask feather and i'm gonna feather the right. mask and then i'm gonna change its mode to add and now i'm gonna duplicate this adjustment layer one more time and i'm gonna call it noise And I'm going to delete the fill effect. I'm going to add a noise. I'm going to turn off the... Use the color noise. And I'm going to set the noise amount to 20%. And I'm going to also delete the mask for the effect. Let's increase the mask feather to 10,000 so here's our final result and I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed the video don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot now if you have a problem with the stretching text animation and also the time displacement effect I highly suggest you to watch these two videos